when I play my favorite piano patch on my Roland Sound module using the General Music S3 as the uh, MIDI controller, I get a problem with the dynamic response. If I play very loud, it will be okay, but if I play very, very soft, the sound will almost disappear, so it's actually very distracting. So I can turn on the curve filter function on MIDI mix fix, and with the correct curve correction, the problem will disappear. You can also use the curve filter to make all sorts of weird transformations. I'll try to show what you can do, a few examples of what you can do. So now I turned on one curve operating on the input one, node on velocity, and then with these settings there will be no transformation. You will have a linear curve and the, it will go from minimum to maximum with the, uh, without changing anything. So I can I can change the curve to be like like this. No matter what I do now, I will I will have a um, the same velocity going out of the filter. The uh, the hard key presses will be the same as the uh, soft key presses. No difference from. to to make this funny effect now I will I have made a, a reverse transformation so the hard key presses will be a, a, um, a weak velocity a quiet velocity and the soft key presses will be a loud velocity they will start playing a bit quiet it works completely opposite Not very fun to play <laughs> like this. I have tried. And I can show you something else. Why don't we take two curve filters and I will make the, the first filter, I will make that operate on the, the black keys. I can make the second filter operate on the white keys of the node on velocity something more normal here and then let's say we want the black keys to be a lot more powerful than the white keys and see what happens This can be quite use useful if you are unhappy with the balance between the uh, white and the black keys. You can go in and you can make exactly the transformation that you think is, is suitable. <laughs> 